Hello guys, welcome to Swiss Technologies. So in this video, let's see how to set up the browser uh, to run the test scripts in the Selenium. Okay, by using the uh, Selenium, how we can do perform the automation testing or if you want to execute any automation uh, test script, first of all, you have to write the test scripts in the like editor, Eclipse editor and any editor, but how to do that? okay so very first time let's understand first the manual approach for example if you want to do or uh, use any application for example facebook.com okay so for this what we did very first time first you have to do come to any browser that your favorite browser that may be chrome browser or edge browser or firefox or internet exposure any browser so first of, all, first of all you have to open the browser later you have to do launch the url so later you need to enter some username and password okay so this is the way once you do enter so later you have to click on the login okay so this is the manual approach but now the same thing needs to be done by the selenium okay so the selenium automated test software need to be performed so for that first the selenium you have to do integrate to your project okay so how to integrate and how to get the selenium software means simply you can use selenium.dev or you can just use this particular url to go to selenium so in this you will do have uh, the selenium uh, stable versions so here previous releases is there no? so here click down on releases so here you will be find different versions so this uh, selenium 3.140 is a stable version just click here so here you will be find selenium server standard 3.140 dots chart okay so just uh, just get this to download so once it is get downloaded so later what you have to do means in default the selenium is not integrated with any browser like chrome browser or edge browser in default it was not integrated with any browser so but then what you have to do means you have to do download the updated or the current browser whatever the browser you are using currently so that is uh, uh, which version of the browser you are using that you have to know first so how to know that means so just uh, click on these three dots so you will be fine here help and go to your go to about google chrome so here you will be know the current uh, chrome version okay and this version you need to get download from the same selenium official website so just close this and come to the browsers here so here in the browsers, if you want to run your uh, test script to first on the Chrome, just to click on documentation of the Chrome. So you will become here like this, the availability, the Chrome for test availability dashboard, click here. And here you will be get the different versions. So here you have to do select the browser that is Chrome driver, not Chrome or the not Chrome headless. So here you have to select only stable, not the beta or not development, not canary, canary, sorry. Okay, you have to select the Chrome driver and which is suitable for your operating system. So my operating system is Windows and I'm with 64 configuration, 64 bit configuration. So that's why what you have to do means just a Chrome driver, Windows 64, just to click on it and it will be selected, do copy, okay just to whatever you copy just to hit on this address bar and uh, enter now so now it will be downloads okay so once uh, uh, you downloaded the chrome browser so if you want to interest it into other browsers like uh, edge browser or microsoft edge or firefox okay in the same way you have to do know the current version of the browsers of that particular uh, current version so in the same way you can go to help and if you go to help you will come to know here the uh, version of that particular browser okay just wait that so here about microsoft edge is there no help and feedback about microsoft edge if you go here again you will come to know the browser so in the same way you can do download this also so where you can do download means just uh, go back okay so here what you selected browsers so what now you want to download the my edge documentation okay so here uh this is a stable channel so here click on uh pra 64 
okay so this will download again the windows 64 per inch so in the same way how many different browsers you want to do uh, run your test script that many you can download and whatever you downloaded what you have to do means you have to do maintain them in some a uh, folder okay once they got downloaded so in finally when you are working with the selenium you need to work with many different tools or many different software so better keep all the different softwares whatever you downloaded to run your selenium script so keep them in some browsers like uh, you can maintain like this okay so selenium server standard on 3.140 and chrome which is which i downloaded and edge so in further you can also do jaco uh, gecko driver and what you have to do means you have to do extract them and extract and once it is getting extracted you will be have the folder like this chrome driver dot executable okay so these are currently ignored and uh, this is the one you have to be in your charge folder so what you have to do next means you have to give some line of script to identify the browser where you do store here okay so where you do store here this is you store in the c drive users sys technologies download charge folder in the charge folder your file name is chrome driver so this needs to be run at the runtime by your uh, selenium script so that's why what the what the line you have to use means have to set up the property here and how to set up the property means you have to use the class of system dot so here in the system class you can use the method that is set property method so this set property method will do have the two arguments so that is key and this is a string and the value this is also a string so that's why I do keep the string both here okay so here what you have to do keep in the key and the value so the key is like so web driver dot chrome dot driver okay web driver dot chrome dot driver and make sure everything every letter should be a lowercase letter and uh, here spell check is not provided by the compiler because you are writing this under string okay so what you have to do pass as a value means where exactly this chrome driver you are having in your uh, device or the pc means you are having inside the jars right so just now we copied right sorry so just again copy that so this is the one okay just copy this path and mention here okay and in the jars folder you are not having only one driver right so you have to give the name of this as well okay so chrome driver dot exe you have to keep the continuation so use the two forward uh, backward slashes here and give the name as it is continuously okay so later what you have to do means this is just a property at runtime of the script this will go to that particular folder and it will see the dot executable file is there or not and that is the current version of my chrome driver or not okay later what you have to do means this is just a like just like a browser you are having okay in your pc just like a, when you do open now like this chrome you are just to open means you will be available like this okay so next what you have to do next what you have to do so once you just come here again here you have to open some browser right you have to open some browser here so how to open this browser means so here you have to write uh, some line of uh, code that is you have to create an object for the chrome driver now you wanted to work with the chrome driver right so you have to create an object of the chrome driver class so how to create an object with a new keyword and instantiation of the chrome driver class so this is the way you can do driver right so this is the way you can do create an object so you are getting suggestion here right just to import that uh, package of the chrome driver class and it is got imported and uh, here the line this is just an object of the chrome driver okay so but how generally we do create an object so we do create an object and that we do refer in some reference variable and that reference variable need to be uh, like need to be declared with some a property exactly how that object is having the properties okay so i'm going to give the name of this uh, object as a driver 
so what are the different properties this driver contains means how the chrome driver class properties we are having this is a class okay so this will do have the properties like a class okay but here i am going to mention that is web driver so what exactly this web driver means so just import the web driver so this is actually a interface okay selenium dot web driver this is a interface so from the interface actually inside the interface you do have the abstract methods abstract methods means abstract methods means which are not having the method body abstract methods does not contain okay does not contain method body method body so which does not contain method body means there is no implementation to execute okay so but uh, you need to execute different methods what are the different methods you require here is like uh, so uh first you have to do navigate to first you have to do launch your application url okay navigate to or get to method you can use get to method so later you have to do find out some element where exactly you want to perform some action okay so that action is uh, some uh, find element method is required later you have to click on uh later you have to do send keys on the text box as some input okay so that's why you need a different methods here and all the methods are in the web driver but all the methods are in the web driver or unimplemented methods okay so actually this is a structure you have to know here so web driver is a interface and search context is the interface so this is a parent of the web driver and web driver is a child of the search context both are the interfaces both are interfaces means they can do share their properties that's why we can use the extents as uh, the uh, java concept you can use the extents is a relationship will do form between two uh, same category properties so web driver is having the unimplemented methods those unimplemented needs to be implemented in some class and all these other classes okay so this is also a class 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 and this is also a class just now we used the class and we created an object for this class as a chrome driver okay and the chrome driver is extending its properties with the remote web driver so we made we, remote web driver is a class which is implementing all web driver interface unimplemented methods okay now you wanted to launch your application and launch your browser with the chrome driver so but all um, implemented methods are available in the remote web driver but remote web driver methods from where they are getting calling at runtime means needs to be called from the web driver if you want you can also use instead of the web driver here as a remote web driver but the best practice is web driver because the web driver is a parent of the remote web driver okay and all unimplemented methods are implementing here so whenever you use the extends between two classes all the properties of the parent will get to child also so child will do have the right to use all the properties of the remote web driver so we no need to write here in a individual different classes if you want to work with the edge driver if you want to work with the firefox if you want to work with the internet explorer we no need to write all the different methods which we implemented in the remote web driver separately okay so though those all the methods are available in the remote web driver here in this class and just we can implement these so just we can use a we can extend these uh, classes in the different classes in different classes where exactly you want to do launch the application in which different browser okay so that's why here we are using the web driver as a uh, reference variable of this particular driver okay so now this driver so from the driver what are the different properties you can use means so driver dot here you can use the method get okay so here in the get method you can do use or you can do launch the url so for example if you want to if you want to launch the application of the base book the application you can do use this line so this line will so launch the launch the facebook on the address part address bar okay so next so here so this particular line will launches the browser launches the browser 
So the browser is launches the, you can say this is Chrome browser, launches the Chrome browser. Okay. So once you do launch the uh, facebook.com, what you can do, so you have to do launch some login model. You want to do work with the login model. So for that, the Selenium need to identify the element. So from the driver. So if you do click on, uh, sorry, if you after clicking on dot if you do control space or if you do like this so you will get all the methods close is a method you need to close the browser and find element is a method you need to find element in the web page that is a web element so this is also getting from web driver so find the elements number of elements get method to use a uh, it will help you to launch the url and uh, get current url the current url for example this is the current url so get page source all these methods get title if you want to do validate the page once you get uh, opened with some page okay so and these are the different method and the quit method whatever the different browsers you open through the driver all will be uh, closed at a time okay and switch it to method every method is uh, actually getting from where actually getting from web driver only because the driver is referring what web driver interface but at runtime all will be run from the chrome driver okay all will be from the chrome driver because here the main object is a chrome driver and this chrome driver how you are getting all the properties means so this is a child of the remote web driver here that is a child of the remote web driver in the remote web driver class only all the unimplemented methods or the methods whatever you are seeing here all these methods when you are seeing like web driver no at this side so all these web driver methods are implemented where means in the remote web driver only okay but why you are not using the web driver directly means so if you want you can use not a problem but this is the best practice to annotate like this okay so next what you have to do you have to use the method to identify the login element right so by dot if you want to do identify that particular element with some you can use inspect here okay so here you are having a uh, email right just use the email okay so by dot id and dot you can do send the case is a method you can do pass so what you exactly want to do or like a switch switch is my username and later you can do same for the password as well as just to go for this arrow mark here and click on the username and here also you are having the id use this and keep here this is the id pass and here you can if you want you can go use uh, switch one two three is the password or switch at the rate one two three is the password and later you have to click on button right that login button so just come here and keep your person here so here name you are having, ID you are having. So let's use name this time. So control C. And how to use the name here? Just uh, right here name. And this is a uh, login. And here if you want, you can do click directly. Okay. So this is the line of code will uh, launch your application and click on login page. Okay. And let's run the script. So after saving the script, control S. And after saving the script, just run as Java application. Okay, browser was started successfully. And it is opened browser. And later, okay, some random name is get open. So if you want to maximize the browser here, you can use one more line here. That is, after launching this browser immediately, it needs to be maximized. Driver dot, manage dot, window dot maximize this the line will help you to maximize the your browser just observe once a day yes it is open and switch some username entered password entered and it was clicked on the login and later it went to some other persons okay so this is the way the application you can do you can do uh, work with the automation testing or by using the these particular selenium and some concept you have to get learned so better understanding of for this uh, uh, exchange keyword and implements keyword how they are getting work okay what is the interface actually what is exactly the class okay how we are exact creating an object here 
okay so this is our session and this is the small concepts i want to lecture in this video so thank you guys we'll meet you on next video